in 1945. My great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, it's that war, war never changes. War never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hon. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody. I hope everybody's doing well. I know that I am, and today we are going to start our 100% walkthrough of Fallout 4. In this walkthrough, we're going to get every single bobblehead, we're going to get every magazine, and we're going to attempt to get every hollow tape. I will try to get as many special weapons as I can. I probably will not be able to get them all, along with hollow tapes. I may not be able to get every single hollow tape. So, let's give it our best shot. Um, first, we need to make our character. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to speed up the video for everybody, so I'll see everybody in just a second. All right, now that we're done making our character, let's go ahead and start the walkthrough. Now, there's probably not going to be a lot of commentary here at the beginning, and that's just because there's a lot of dialogue to get through. So I'll see everybody in, I suppose, just a second, but not really. So just enjoy the dialogue, everybody. Ah, good morning, sir. Your coffee. 173.5 degree Fahrenheit, brewed to perfection. And today's newspaper just delivered. All right, so we're just going to go and drink this coffee here. Grab the grognak. Grognak the barbarian in the jungle of the bat babies. My favorite. We'll look at the newspaper as well. Hmm. More the same. Oh, Good old like USA. Someone made a stinky. I shall attend to young Sean. <laughs> 
You know, I was nervous at first, but Codsworth's really good with Sean. I suppose so. I'm so proud of her. Hun. Wow, look at you. How'd a girl like me ever get so lucky, huh? <laughs> I think she's being sarcastic. Sugar bombs, 100% daily value of sugar. Can you get that? It's probably that salesman. He comes for you every day. Good morning. vault calling. Good morning. Isn't it? Just look at that sky out there. <clears throat> you can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. Then I'm glad you caught up with me. Oh, me too. You have no idea. Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being a, uh, mm, a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. Sounds great. Oh, it is. Believe you me. Now, you're already cleared for entrance in the unforeseen event of uh, total atomic annihilation. <laughs> I just need to verify some information. That's all. Sure. Let's do it. Splendid. Splendid. Now, uh, <clears throat> let's see. Let's go ahead and name our character Mr. John Wayne. All right, now that we have our character named, we're going to put nine into intelligence. And then we're going to do six into charisma, three into endurance, three into perception, three into strength, and three into agility. Uh, I'm not going to put anything into luck because luck really isn't that important at the beginning of the game. So what's really important is intelligence uh, for the extra experience and charisma to get through some dialogue. All right, let's go ahead and finish up here. I'll let uh, the vault Tech representative finish up his dialogue. Wonderful, that's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Mr. Wayne, Sean has been changed, but he absolutely refuses to calm down. I think he needs some of that paternal affection you seem to be so good at. <laughs> you heard Codsworth. Go on. Let's take a look at this uh, book. wonder what Sean will grow up to be. That'll come in handy a little later. How are the two most important men in my life doing? Spin the mobile a bit. He loves that. Hey, how's my little guy? Much better now, huh? Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Yeah, sounds like fun. Sir? Mom? You should come and see this! Codsworth? What's wrong? Followed by... Yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes. Sounds of explosions. We're uh, trying to get confirmation. What? We seem to have lost contact with say? our affiliate stations. We do, oh, we no. do have 
we do have coming in. That's um, confirmed reports, I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. Oh my God. We, we need to get to the vault, now! I've got Sean, let's go. Very convenient. Residents of Sanctuary Hills, if you are registered, evacuate to Vault 111 immediately. Keep it orderly. Vault participants this way. Shh. Shh. the bags. Who cares? Just help me pack it up. Resident All vault participants, area. check in at the gate. That's absurd. I am Not on the list. Tech. You don't get in. I'm going in. You can't stop Shut me. Oh, 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 okay, okay. I'm reporting this. If you're in the program, step forward. Otherwise, return home. We're not in the vault program. We need to get in. To. We're on the you list. Infant, adult male, program. adult no, female. Man. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Good luck, ma'am. And you God two, help follow us me. All. Come on. What's going to happen to all those people outside We're the gate? We're doing everything we can. Now keep moving. Step on the platform! In the center! I always think it's really cool to see Almost this there. We're gonna be okay. Nuke go off. I love you. Both of you. We love you too. Oh my god! Sorry for talking over that dialogue, everyone. Now, now! Send it down now! Hold on! Can't this thing move faster? Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god! We did it. We made it. We're okay. Everyone please step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. A better future underground. So we just... Yes, up the stairs. I can't believe it. If we left a minute later... No, We'd no. All be. Don't get caught up thinking about that. You're safe now. Everyone, just head up these stairs and through the door there. Just this guy is slow. Please. Oh, never mind. Vault Tech is here for you. Yep. This way. All new this way, please. Please proceed in an order. Just this way. Skip in the line. Male, step Welcome over to the table. Home. Take a suit. Female and a little high. Welcome. Okay, yeah. pick up a suit right over there. Good. Just step over to the table. Here right you are. There, Head down the hall there. Good. Over there. Take a suit. You'll need your suits before we can take you further. Uh, thanks. What now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. Oh, I can't wait to get to See, my cryopod. This is our new home. Oh, you're gonna love it here. This is one of our most advanced facilities. Not that the others aren't great, mind you. Take a vault suit, then head it's down gone. the hall. Our home. Everything we had. My mother and father down in D.C. Sir? Oh, God, honey. What if they didn't make it? I know this is a difficult time, but vault Tech will be with you every step of the way. You'll thrive here. We've Did you have any everything. family outside the city? Oh, God. Oh, God. We'll never see them again. Please, these people need some space. Oh, Move you're along. right. I'm sorry. How, how long do you think we'll be down here? Oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. Just a few medical a items fit. we have yeah, to get. Checking first. everything off the list as they come in. Fashionable as well as comfortable. Prepared for the future, right? Just step in here and put your vault suit on. Shh. It'll be okay. Daddy's right here. See? Honey, 
<clears throat> Could you help me? Who's my little guy? I'm not going far. I'll just be over there. There he is. See? Daddy's not going far. All set? Just step inside and put on your vault suit. All right. Let's, uh... Start the game. Let's actually start the game now. <laughs> the pod will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just relax. <sighs> Time for a whole new life. Resident secure. Occupant vitals normal. Procedure complete. There has to be a release! Come on, come on, come on! Oh, God! I'll find you did this. And I'll get Sean back. I promise. Alright. Let's go ahead and close the cryopod. For Nora. Let her... Be frozen, <laughs> I guess. Like Mr. Freeze. What was Mr. Freeze's wife's name? I forget. Alright, uh, if we go through this door, by the way, it just leads to more cryopods. Um, there's a terminal back there that has a little bit of lore on it, but I'm not worried about it. I'm worried about looting all this stuff here real quick. Nothing in there. If we hit this door, it'll say that we can't go through it. So it only leads us to go through this door here. Big old rad roach. Our first weapon of the game. I'm not going to bother going into terminals unless it's important. This is just lore. If you feel like it, go ahead and read it. I'm not going to do that. It would make the uh, video longer than it's already going to be. These are probably going to be some lengthy videos. Uh, probably 40 to 50 minutes long. Um, somewhere in there. 
uh, because I'm going to try to do minimal cutting. Unless it's like hacking or lock picking or something like that, I, I really don't want to um, do a lot of. Oh, wow. He pushed Giant me roaches? What the hell? Um, I really don't want to cut too much. Make it more of an adventure. We're going to go in this terminal, though. And this terminal has the Red Menace holo tape, which is a game you can play on um, your Pit Boy or any terminal you find. So, feel like playing a little mini game? Have at it. Mm, nothing over there. This room, I have checked multiple times. I have never found anything in this room, and I am not going to bother even going in there. I've never found anything. Uh, maybe there is something in there, but I don't know of it. So if you do, let me know down in the comments below. Right here, you want to be careful for these pylons. You'll get electrocuted just like that rad roach there. And you don't want to die this early in the game. That would suck. What happened here? Where is everyone? Go ahead and kill these rad roaches. I am going to pick up the rad roach meat. Um, just because... Uh, I, li I like the settlement building in this game. Um, I know it's not everybody's favorite, but I like it. And I like putting, like, different food and whatnot on uh, tables and in shop vendors and stuff. So, by the way, this is our uh, first gun. We get a 10 millimeter pistol, which is really good. Well, I mean, the pistol's not really good. It's just, well, I mean, I guess it can be. You can use it all the way to end game. Um, but, yeah. Is this all that's left? Uh, also, you can change your weapons out by pressing left, right, up, down on the D-pad. We're not going to waste our ammunition just yet. Right here is the cryolator. Uh, we can't get that just yet. We need a uh, lockpick of master. Nice. Coming back later for you. So, yes, we will come back later for that. more 10 millimeter pistol rounds all right that looks like everything let's go over here to this terminal we're gonna open up the evacuation tunnel now we're gonna beat about six rad roaches with our baton here <laughs> Ton of them. Too many. Not really. Rad roaches aren't that strong. Plus, we're playing on normal, um, which whatever anybody wants to play on is fine. Very easy, normal, survival hard. Um, be my guest. I'm just putting it on normal because I, I just am doing the walkthrough to show everybody where they can get everything, you know? <laughs> Some people that may not have the all the bobbleheads or all the magazines or just want to know where a particular magazine is. Um, that's really what this walkthrough is for. Is anyone alive? Did anyone get out? Everyone's dead. Yes, Nate. Everyone's dead. Uh, this is actually the door we went to earlier into the walkthrough. We were like, oh, it won't let us through. This is that door. And then back there is the cryopod that we uh, escaped from. Let's pick up some 10 millimeter pistol rounds, some more. And then we're gonna pick up the Volt 111 jumpsuit. This one is new compared to the one that we have on now. The one that we have on now, you may or may not be able to see. It's kind of dirty, um, but that's not really important. Uh, down there, if you go down there, you will find absolutely nothing. Nothing's down there. Uh, don't 
Don't waste your time. So let's go ahead and pick up the pit boy. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry about that. The Vault Boy is going to give us a thumbs up. Everybody go ahead and give him a thumbs up back. Uh, so this is our stat stat uh, part of our Pit Boy, where we can look at our status, our special, um, and then our perks. But we don't have any perks because we haven't leveled up yet. Inventory is... Pretty self-explanatory. Let's go ahead and actually put on some glasses and put on our new uh, Volt 111 jumpsuit. Uh, then we have aid, you know, stim packs, rad roach meat, stuff like that. Miscellaneous, that's for the hollow tapes and all the miscellaneous shit. Um, junk, mods, ammo. Pretty self-explanatory there for the inventory. Data is your quests, your workshops, meaning like your settlements that you have, uh, and your stats. So like how many days have passed. Uh, locations discovered, cleared, um, how many people you've killed, creatures you killed, etc. Um, map, uh, I, I hopefully I don't have to explain what the map is. It's pretty self-explanatory there. <laughs> um, but we don't have anything on the map because, well, we haven't discovered anything. So we haven't even exited the vault yet. And radio. The radio has a lot of... Uh, well, not a lot of radio stations, but it's got a few radio stations you can listen to. Um, we're not going to for obvious reasons, but in my humble opinion, uh, Fallout usually does have some good music. So give it a listen. All right. Now we're going to press the big red button. Vault door cycling sequence initiated. And then we're going to step over Please here. stand back. I always like watching this vault door open up. Um, although the the vault door in Fallout 3, whew, that was ear rape. Turn your speakers down or your headset down whenever that vault door opens. How the lone wanderer's dad escaped without being noticed is beyond me. Well, he did get noticed, but I mean, he was pretty far away before anybody had the heads up. That vault door was really loud. I think I've rambled on a little bit too much about that vault door. Just saying. All right, let's go ahead and come down here. When we come down here and the elevator uh, gets all the way down, it's going to ask us, uh, are we sure like this is everything that we want? Typical Bethesda game style. Um, are you happy with your character that you've created? We are, but if you're not, you have a choice of being able to change the stats around, or change um, the look of your character. So. We're happy with ours. Let's go ahead and finish and exit the vault. I'll see everybody in just a second. Enjoy your return to the surface. And thank you for choosing Vault Tech. <sighs> All right, if we step over here, we can see the Boston Commonwealth. It's kind of hard to see, but you might be able to make out a few skyscrapers way back in the distance. Over here, you might be able to make out the uh, church in Concord, and then the Red Rocket right over there. We have what used to be Sanctuary Hills, but now is destroyed. We ran down this path earlier into the walkthrough and ran all the way up here to get into the vault. So that explanation done. Uh, let's go ahead and loot a little bit. I want to grab this Nuka-Cola here. That'll be important a little bit later into the game for a quest. Um, if you press this big red button, it will let you go back into Vault 111. We obviously don't need to. There is no point to. 
So let's just grab and loot this stuff. I'm not going to loot too much. Um, if you want, you can go in this teal trailer here um, and loot. Well, actually, we'll go in there. Why not? Grab this cram. And then 10 millimeter rounds. Good thing I did go in here for the 10 millimeters. Um, and then we're going to make our way down. We're going to pull out our baton because um, there's going to be a few enemies that we're going to fight when we're in um, Sanctuary Hills. Now, normally, a lot of people want to go and talk to Codsworth first. I don't like to because at the beginning of the game, I like to get as much experience as I possibly can to make things a little easier um, to get through. So what we're going to do is systematically go through all these houses, kill creatures, and uh, grab a few cap stashes. So the first thing um, we're going to do is kill these rad roaches. All right. Uh, we'll pick up their meat. Why not? Why not? Um, and then right here is our first suitcase uh, that is locked. Well, our first anything that is locked. So let's go ahead and unlock it. The first one I'll show so I can just explain it a little bit. Um, it's pretty simple. You turn to the left or right, you try to find the sweet spot. Once you find the sweet spot, it'll unlock for you. Yes. I was being a little reckless there just to kind of make the point. Um, you can break your lock pick uh, if you use it too much. Like if you're going in the wrong direction and whatnot, um, yeah, you can break it very easily. Over here, I think there's a Medex. Yes, there is. This Medex has to be here always. I don't know. Every time I've been through here, I've always picked up that Medex. So I assume that it's always there. Right here is a uh, tension trigger. We want to disarm that, and then we want to disarm this makeshift bomb. And then let's go ahead and lockpick this safe. Sweet. All right. We'll just grab everything in here. It's not that big of a deal. All right. And here's our first terminal that needs to be hacked. Again, I'll show the first terminal. And then after that, we're just going to cut the terminal hacking. So how this works is it's pretty much a matching game. You try to figure out what the password is. So let's click on the first uh, word here, um, host. So there's no likeness um, to the password in host. It could be walk because there's no letters that match up uh, between host and walk. So let's give this a try. So it's got one likeness. So there's one letter in walk that's the same um, in, as in the password. It could be hand. It could be yard. It can't be snot. It could be cape. It could be e. Oh, no. Can't be easy. And it can't be your. Um, so let's just, I suppose, try hand. Okay, so there's two likenesses. We only have one attempt left. So let's go ahead and go to these like brackets. There's parentheses and brackets you can find. And if you hover over them, um, it'll get rid of a word or also give all your tries back. So you, it's kind of like a um, game within a mini game. Okay, so we got all our tries back. Oh, wow. They're giving me a lot of brackets and parentheses and all this stuff. It's going to be easy to guess this word. Um, Let's see. Had two, so... Could be... It could be yard. Eh, yep, nice. it was yard. So we're not going to bother reading through all this, by the way, because it's just lore. And I just wanted to go into that terminal to show everybody how to hack. Um, now let's just go ahead and continue going through these houses and killing, uh, creatures. Like I said, I, I'm, and I know that I've beat, I'm beating a dead horse at this point, but I'm not going to be looting a bunch of stuff. Everybody else, 
loot to your heart's content. Loot till you can't loot no more. Um, over here we have another safe, but it's advanced. Oh, another safe. <laughs> this is our first safe. Or no, it's not. No, it's not. We uh picked the lock on that other safe. Okay, never mind. Um, but yeah, there's an advanced. Or did we? Hold on, everybody. I think I forgot to pick the lock on that safe. I'm going to feel really stupid if I didn't. Oh my god, I'm stupid. I'm stupid. It's official. <laughs> Alright, let's continue going over here. Um, right here is just some destroyed houses. Over here, this house has a cap stash in it. If we come right over here, pick up the cap stash. It doesn't really have anything else of use in here besides maybe a mirror. Nope, doesn't even have a mirror. Womp, womp, womp. Yeah, see, uh, Codsworth, we're supposed to talk to him. We're going to stay on this side of the street. And he can stay over there, trim our bushes. This house doesn't have anything in it either. Um, it has a mirror. You can pick up a stem pack, I suppose, or maybe some bobby pins. Whatever it has in it. Or maybe it doesn't have anything in it. Who knows? Alright, come around this side. We have annoying enemies. They're not necessarily hard. It's just annoying. Ooh, nice. We got a bloat fly gland. Quit shooting your larva at me. You're gross. Disgusting. Stop it. Um, we have a safe right here that we can pick as well. Let's go ahead and do that now. Oh my god. I broke pin. my bobby pin. And I don't have any more. I'm a genius. <laughs> Uh, what can go wrong will go wrong. So if you get a bloat, blo bloat fly gland, <laughs> um, hang on to it because we're going to need it for a quest uh, a little later into the game. Not much later, but it's probably going to be about five or six episodes in, maybe more, you know, once we get to a certain uh, place. We have another cap stash over here. If we come right there. And then this ammo box. Uh, random ammunition every time. Nothing else in this house. If we come around the side of this house, there's a root cellar. We're not going to go in here, but I'd advise everybody else, go in there. There's a lot of good loot um, from food to like um, material for your uh, settlement. All kinds of stuff. Die, bloat fly. You bastard. Oh, I shouldn't call him a bastard. I don't know. He might know his father. They might be really good friends. Best friends, actually. They might go kill people together. Who knows? Not anymore. Oh, no. Now you are a bastard, sir. <laughs> I don't know why I laughed like that. That was weird. <laughs> oh, Lord. Uh, let's just go ahead and pick this safe. Out of bobby pins. Oh, yeah. Pins. Out of bobby pins. Duh. Uh, I am stupid. <laughs> I can't believe I ran out of bobby pins there. Oh, well, it's not that big of a deal. It's not the end of the world. Let's go ahead and talk to Codsworth um, and get some sweet, sweet dialogue. As I live and breathe. Oh, it's, it's really you. Codsworth? You're, you're still here. So, other people could still be alive, too. Well, of course I'm still here. Surely you don't think a little radiation could deter the pride of General Atomics International? <laughs> but you seem the worse for wear. Best not let the wife see you in that state, hmm? Where is the missus, by the way? She's... In a better place. 
Sir, these things you're saying, these, these terrible things, uh, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or perhaps charades. Sean does so love that game. <laughs> Is the lad uh, with you? Sean's been kidnapped. But I'm going to find him. I'm going to get my son back. It's worse than I thought. Mm -hmm. You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. <laughs> 200 years? What? Are you... A bit over 210, actually, sir. Or oh, give or take a little for the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> that means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack? <laughs> you must be famished. Codsworth, you're acting... a little bit weird. What's wrong? I... I... Oh, sir, it's been just horrible. Two centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve. I spent the first ten years trying to keep the floors waxed, but nothing gets out nuclear fallout from vinyl wood. <laughs> nothing! And don't get me started about the futility of dusting a collapsed house <laughs> and the car. The car! How do you polish rust? Stay with me, pal. Focus. Uh, I'm afraid I don't know anything, sir. The bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were... dead. I did find this hollow tape. I, I believe the missus was going to present it to you. As a, as a surprise. But then, well, everything happened. Thank you, Codsworth. You're, you're welcome. Now, enough feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? The Mrs. and young Sean may turn up yet. Codsworth, I already looked. They're not here. Then they're really gone, aren't they? No, oh, sir. Sean's out there, Codsworth. I need to find him. What about Concord, sir? Plenty of people there. And last I checked, they only pummeled me with sticks a few times before I had to run back home. There's still people alive in Concord? Yes, although they're a bit rough. Uh, you remember the way? Just across the southern footbridge, out of the neighborhood, and past the Red Rocket Station? I shall remain here and secure the home front. All right, let's go ahead and put some of our stuff away here in the workshop. But we have to activate it first. And what the workshop does is it allows you to rebuild sanctuary to however you envision it. We're not going to do that on screen. Um, what I want to do is actually transfer over some... Uh, extra stuff that's in my inventory. So I'll see everybody in literally just a second. All right, let's go inside our house. We're gonna get a magazine and we're gonna get the Your Special book. So the first magazine we're gonna get in the game is the Grognak the Barbarian. Excellent. We've seen this when we um, first started the game. So it's still here somehow. Don't know how it's still here, but it, it is. Nuclear radiation preserved it, I suppose. And then if we crouch down, we can see the Your Special book. Let's go ahead and uh, pick that up. And we're going to put it into Charisma. We want seven Charisma. Um, it's just going to help us out early in the game. And then we stand up. We'll interact with Sean's crib real quick. I'm coming, buddy. All right. Um... And then this mirror has stem packs. No bobby pins, but stem packs. <laughs> I'll eventually get some bobby pins, come back and pick all these uh, safes. 
Uh, real quick, let's go ahead and listen to this hollow tape, and then we're gonna wrap this stream. Er, stream. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. Then we're gonna wrap this video up. Um, let's go ahead and do that now. Um, it's a miscellaneous. That's where it is. Duh. Oopsie. <laughs> no, no, no. Little fingers away. There we go. Okay. Just say it. Right there. Right there. <laughs> Yay. Hi, honey. Listen. I don't think that Sean and I need to tell you how great of a father you are, but we're going to anyway. Isn't that right? You are kind and loving <laughs> and funny. That's right. And patient. So patient. Patience of a saint, my mom used to say. Look. With Sean and us all being home together, it's been an amazing year. But even so, I know our best days are yet to come. Mm, there'll be changes, sure. Things we need to adjust to. You'll rejoin the civilian workforce and I'll shake the dust off my law degree. But everything we do, no matter how hard, we do it for our family. Now, say goodbye, Sean. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Come on. <laughs> Bye, honey. We love you. All right, everyone. I would like to tell you all thank you for stopping by. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It definitely helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. But until next time, everyone, I hope you all have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.